Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test a 3070 versus a 3070 Ti on Ergo. So we got the setup here on the test bench. We have the 3070 up top and the 3070 Ti just kind of like hanging out right here. They're both the same kind of car. They're both Zotac hollow blacks, but of course different generations of GPUs with the 3070 and 3070 Ti. So let's switch over here. I've had these mining for a little bit, just running stock clocks to get some results. And you can see what they're doing on Ergo using T latest T-Rex miner. Uh, mining on Windows. So stock clocks, you can see an MSI afterburner. The only change I've made is I have the fans on 100 just so we make sure that the GPUs are running really cool. The VRAM temperatures are really cool. And so what we're hitting is on the 3070, 143.8 mega hash per second. On, on the TI, 150.7 mega hash per second. And you can see the efficiency, of course, is what we're looking at. Uh, and the 3070 is coming up as the more efficient GPU right now. So next step for us is we're going to start power limiting these cards to see if we can maintain that stock mega hash. And then if we, if we can, when we find that place of efficiency, then we're going to uh, overclock the heck out of these things and see what we can get them up to and then ultimately compare them and figure out what might be the better buy or the better uh, mining GPU on Ergo. So let's get started. I'm on the 3070 here. I'm gonna drop it down to 90. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the 3070 Ti. And we're gonna check and see what kind of change that makes over in the miner to only not only our wattage, but our hash rate. So we were at 169 watts on the 70 and 199 watts on the 70 Ti. So let's see what taking 10% off each GPU does. And we'll take a look and see if we get any negative impacts on our hash rate. So we'll let this refresh, let it settle out, and then we'll make some adjustments from there. So this Autolecus, I think it's pronounced, algorithm is a funny algorithm. Let me tell you a little bit about what's been happening here off camera. So typically what I would do when I do some um, reducing power limits when I'm testing new cars or new algorithms, I just start reducing and see where the hash rate drops off. But I realized I was kind of silly with Ergo and its algorithm because it's already running natively so power efficiently. Uh, as you can see when I was running at stock, which I have here, I mean, that's not even close to the full TDP of the card, which the 3070 is 220 watts and the 3070 Ti is 290 watts. So as I went down 90 power limit, 80 power limit, and 70 power limit, the, you know, the GPUs just laughed at me because they were already running under those power limits. So super silly on my part. So I just really kept going with it and went down to 60 and just went down a little by little. And what I actually found is that as I lowered the power limits, as you can see here, look how much this wattage dropped on each card but also the hash rates either stayed the same or actually went up on some of the, some of the uh, power limits as I dropped. And ultimately I was able to get that 3070 down to the lowest it can go power limited in MSI Afterburner. You can see it's still mining at 142 watts right here, which is only uh, 142 mega hash right here, which is only one mega hash down from its stock at 169 watts. And the 3070 Ti, I brought all the way down to 40, and I'm able to keep 148 mega hash. Um, and that is the most efficient that these cards run. It's the best efficiency I can get. I did try to get that 3070 Ti down even further past 40, but just instant drop off a cliff of hash rates. So really interesting, this algorithm, which I know is praised for its efficiency and how cool the cards run. I mean, you can see, look at this. These GPUs are running 38, 39 degrees Celsius, and it's probably about 85 degrees ambient temperature Fahrenheit down here right now. 
And the VRAM temps on the 3070 Ti are just amazing, 66 degrees Celsius. When I was running this on Kapow, Ravencoin's algorithm, we were up in 100 degrees Celsius on the VRAM temp. So I'm, I'm in love with this algorithm so far. So next thing I'm gonna do is start overclocking this, overclocking these GPUs. And a couple things I'm thinking of, I might have starved them for power too much. When I start doing overclocks, they might need more power. So I might have to bump up power limits, we're gonna see. Um, and I'm not sure how this algorithm responds to core clock. I'm pretty sure it likes memory. So what I'll do first is I'll up the core and see if we get any different results or I'll lower the core if we don't and see if we get any different results. Um, and based off of that, then I'll know where I need to go with memory. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So on the 3070, I'm just gonna put it up to say 200 core and I'll do the same on 3070 Ti. And we already know what our hash rates are so we'll let that settle out for a second and then we'll come check back and see if that has made any difference in the mega hash that this that these cards are putting out all right so going up plus 200 didn't really have much of an effect at all so what i'm going to do is go down um you know we'll do like we do on ethereum and just go down to like negative 502 see what that does Whoa, there we go. Uh, and then if that takes too much of an effect, maybe we'll just leave it at zero. But let me test negative 502, and that will just tell me if this algorithm needs like any core at all. Kind of like the same thing here, not much of an effect taking the core out. Nothing like monumental here, maybe a couple mega hash here and there. So I'm just gonna leave the core clock all the way down, and then we'll start having some real fun and overclock this memory. Let's do 500 at a time on both GPUs here. I have an idea of what each one can go up to. That 3070 can do about 1300 stable when I'm mining Ethereum. And the 3070 Ti, I've maxed, when I mine Raven, I put that at 1500 and just actually max out that whole slider. So what we're gonna do is uh, take a look at plus 500 here and keep an eye on if we may need to give these GPUs a little more power so that they can overclock that memory because we have them so power limited right now. Uh, so we'll let this settle out. I'll do a little bit more testing on it and I'll check in when we get some real stable results. All right, I just wanna check in here and show you something interesting which makes me think that I need to give these GPUs a little bit more power. So you can see I'm actually dropping hash rate right now. I have the core clock at zero because it really just doesn't seem to matter, at least from my testing so far. And I have both cards memory overclock at a thousand. And that's actually causing me to lose hash rate compared to where I was before. So what I'm gonna do now is give these GPUs a little more power and then ultimately the measure of where we should land going forward is what's more efficient. Is it gonna be more efficient to give these a little more power and overclock? Or is it gonna be more efficient to leave them uh, the clocks at stock and really power limit them as we did in the beginning? And that's the thing that I'm thinking about right now as I continue to test this going forward. So this might take a little while for me to tinker with, and this could be a very long video if I do it all on camera. So I'm gonna do some tinkering off camera. And if anything else interesting comes up, you know, we'll come back live. Otherwise, I will find some good overclocks here. And then what we'll look at is what is better, to run them super power limited or to give them some more juice and overclock them. So we'll check back in just a little bit. All right, it's been like an hour and that I've been testing this. And let me walk you through what's happening here because I'm feeling a little crazy with this algorithm. And please let me know if I am in the comment section down below based on any testing that you've done. So whenever I do overclocks for Ethereum, for Ravencoin, for literally any algorithm I've ever mined on, the number one thing I always look for is efficiency. Some people get really stuck and they just look for that mega hash number to go up, but it's you know truly the balance of the performance, the mega hash you get, and then the wattage that that GPU is pulling 
you, you need to hit a good efficiency unless maybe you got free electric, then it doesn't matter. And so that's what I'm going for with this GPU, of course, mining on Ergo on both these GPUs. And just to go back here, I'll highlight it. You can see this is when I had them just running stock super power limited. What I added here is their efficiency rating, you know, which is just the uh, numbers divided here. So the mega hash divided by wattage. And this is the number that I have to beat. Essentially, I need to have a higher number here to know that I am running these GPUs more efficiently, which means I'm getting more result for using less power. And so I did what I would typically do, and I start overclocking the GPU. And when I do that, I like don't get really anything at first. And you can see on the results here, I did some overclocks and I really didn't see any results. And in fact, I started losing mega hash off of the 3070 Ti. So let's, let's talk about the 3070 first, and then we'll go over to the TI, which is just really interesting card to work with on this algorithm. So the 3070, rock solid. Use, uh, I found a rock solid spot using my Ethereum overclocks, which is 131 watts, 1300 on the memory, and actually it's zero on the core, because the core just really didn't seem to matter. That's giving me 170 mega hash, right? But, and that's giving me a 1.3 efficiency you can see in the miner here. That still does not beat if I just ran this stock as far down power limited as it can go at 99 watts. That is still more efficient than these really good overclocks that I found. And I tried, you can see, I'm not gonna go through them all. I tried quite a few here. Essentially, I can't, through overclocks, I cannot beat the efficiency if I just ran this thing stock, super power limited, and I also tried giving it some more juice with those overclocks, but I just can't beat that efficiency. Same story is, is essentially true for the 3070 Ti. And the thing that is interesting about that card, maybe because it has that GDDR6X memory in it, is, let me switch over to it here. As I mine with that, I'll have a power limit set. And I essentially can push the memory clock to a certain point and the hash rate will go up just like you would expect. And then when I get to this tipping point where I push the memory too hard, the hash rate drops off a cliff hard. Unless I then give it a little more juice. And then essentially re rinse and repeat, give it a little more juice, can push the memory pretty fa far, and then push it too far, gotta give it more juice, push it too far, and it's just, I, I'm going around in circles here, and none of it is getting me any more efficient, and certainly not anywhere near the efficiency I got just running it super power limited with stock overclocks. So, I guess my, my takeaway here with this specifically is, I guess I should just run this stock and power limit it as far as I can without losing the mega hash from when I ran it at zero power limit or 100% power limit. I might be totally crazy here. If you guys have tested this thoroughly, let me know the efficiency. Can you beat these efficiency scores that I got with your overclocks? You probably most definitely can beat the mega hash, but you're probably spending a lot of power to do that. So what I really could use some help with is can you beat those efficiency scores or does it really make sense to mine these at such a reduced power limit with no overclocks? I, I'm at a loss here. So let's do this. Let's take a look at what to mine. And I put in those really efficient Ha uh, um, settings I got for hash rate and power. So first up we're on the 3070, which was 143 mega hash at 99 watts. And I'm using the $599 these cards cost off of EVGA 
which I know it can't get them for that, but that's the benchmark I'm using. And actually both the 3070 and 70Ti are both 599 from EVGA. So let's calculate that. You can see you would be taking in about $2.67 a day with a break even on this 3070 of 223 days. Not too bad. And let's do the 3070 Ti. You would be taking home $2.72 a day in profit and your break even is 219 days. So actually a couple days shorter break even on the 3070 Ti. So, you know, if you're looking to mine Ergo between these two cards, it whatever you can get, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, obviously, the 3070 can mine Ethereum where the 70 Ti really can't. So, yeah. So, you know what? Let me uh, switch cameras here and we'll just wrap this very <laughs> exhausting one up. So that is the 3070 versus the 3070 Ti on Ergo. Ergo is a very tricky, has a very tricky algorithm, uh, the Autolycus that it uses, and it especially is very tricky on the 3070 Ti with the VRAM that it has in it. So like I was saying, if you're looking to mine Ergo exclusively, maybe you really believe in the project and you don't care about anything else, Either GPU you can get your hands on is gonna be just fine. Uh, I still would recommend a non-LHR 3070, of course, for just flexibility in the future because you just never know what the future brings. And the VRAM temps and everything seem really good on the 3070 Ti mining ergo, especially super power limited. So I really don't see any issues with heat like I did see mining Kapow with Ravencoin on that one. So that's it. I still need to know all of your results down in the comment section below. Let me know if you have, especially this 3070 Ti, but also the 3070, how are you running them? Can you beat that efficiency that I showed on screen by just me running them at stock clocks, power limited as far as I can? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.